August 28th of 2023 is a day many Eastern Kanawha County residents want to forget. The atmosphere was juiced for flash flooding, with a flow of tropical moisture converging right over the Kanawha Valley. This was primed for thunderstorms to form, but the boundary provided no steering winds for the storms to move. Rainfall rates were incredible, with estimates by radar of over 9 inches of rain in Mammoth. Along with 6 inches observed rainfall in Slaughter's Creek, the excessive runoff led to considerable flash flooding, damaging homes and properties in the Cedar Grove, Chesapeake, Marmette, and Bell communities of eastern Kanawha County. This past January, President Biden approved a FEMA disaster declaration to supplement the recovery efforts from August's flooding. County Emergency Management Director C.W. Sigmund told me that the funding was crucial for many residents of Kanawha County. There was 250 registrations with FEMA. That's a lot. And the records we picked out this morning was over a million dollars was paid out in Kanawha County to individual assistance and for our debris pickup. Alerting the public is critical to saving lives, especially in the rural communities of eastern Kanawha County. And there's many ways that you can stay informed when disaster strikes. If you notice, when you drive up Fields Creek, for example, you lose phone coverage. Uh, you don't drive very far up at all, you lose phone coverage. So we have a lot of systems out there that can uh, alert your phones, like the wireless emergency alert, various apps from the you know, TV stations have good apps that people can use and get warning. In an ongoing drought season, flash flooding is still possible. The soil can only absorb moisture so quickly in these very dry conditions. However, a bigger problem may be forming. Leaves and debris falling from trees and plants during a drought can quickly clog storm drains. If left unattended, ponding of water can occur within these areas of poor drainage very quickly and even prevent the floodwaters from receding. And the follow-up on that after that flood, uh, when we had some high, high water up there, we actually drove up there at 2 o'clock in the morning just to keep an eye on it. We were up over the Chesapeake Fire Department just kind of keeping an eye on it just in case, not taking any chances. So we got a little height in the sense of alertness there to that area because of the flooding. Always have a way to receive severe weather alerts and be prepared to move to higher ground if a flash flood warning or emergency is issued for your area. Proper preparation will be key to saving lives and keeping you and your entire family safe when that next severe weather event strikes. I'm meteorologist Dante Rickey.